This is Gracie Idaho Painter. In this video, I'm going to talk about how we go about keeping our brushes, rollers, pans, and buckets from drying out when we take off for lunch, or even if we're finished for the day and coming back to the same or the next day and going to be using the same buckets, rollers, and brushes. We don't want to go to the extent of cleaning them all out and wasting all that time, so we just do a simple method of covering them with plastic, and I'm going to show you that process, so stay tuned for this video. So here we go, I'm going to show you our simple process of how we go about covering a bucket and all you're going to typically need is we have always have a what we call a snap knife and this is a sharp razor knife that we use for cutting plastic and we always got someplace on the job site what we call 9 by 400 plastic and and this is a roll of 9 by 400 plastic and it's really inexpensive and really cheap to use and how we go about cutting or covering a bucket is we just take some of this plastic, I just need to take off, roll off, as much as I know is gonna cover the top of the bucket, and then I'm just gonna take and fold that, kind of just in a little knot right there, and then just cut that plastic. Now this plastic is just gonna go over the top of my bucket, and I'm just gonna use some tape that I have, you know, lying around handy, that's just some typical painter's tape. So I'm just gonna set this over the top of the bucket. Hopefully you can see that right there. Then I'm gonna just take some painter's tape, wrap it around this bucket. You can see how fast, simple, and easy this is to do. And I just leave my roller and brush right in the bucket. Just wrap it around there so it's nice and snug. And now my bucket is completely covered just like that. Pretty simple, easy to do. When we come back from lunch or come back the next day, this thing is completely airtight. I've never ever had a problem with it ever drying. You can typically just pull the top of this off. If you need to cut it, you can cut it, but it usually is just gonna pull right off. And then we just take, just wad up the plastic and toss it aside, throw it away. Now, if, if we have a hand masker with 3M masking film, you know, close by, we'll just grab that masker, rip off the same amount of plastic and do the same thing. The hand masker with 3M masking films, more expensive covering a bucket, but it's whatever is actually com convenient to us to grab and cover it in, cover it up. So once again, you just got nine by 400 plastic. That's the cheapest method. We do the same thing with a roller pan. I'd have a roller pan right here, say I got, my roller in the pan. I'm just going to take and put the roller, I'll load it up, put it at the top right here, and then I'm going to take, tear off enough plastic that's going to cover my pan. Just going to take that plastic, cut it, and then I'm just going to take that plastic, set it over the top of my pan, like this. You can see it's set right over the top of the pan. And then I'll just take my tape and do the exact same thing. I'm going to take my tape and just wrap it. The pan has a lip around the pan. I'll try to get this up in the air so you can see it here in just one second. So it's just like that. Now it's covering the pan. It's got tape all around it. And then we'll just take where the handle is. So you can just take a little piece of tape just to make it a little bit tighter around the handle, just like that. Now your pan is completely covered and it's done that fast. Very simple, easy to do. When I come back for lunch, come back the next day, all I gotta do is lift this up and off, tear off my roller, just like that, just wad it up. This is trash and now I'm ready to go to paint. A simple and easy method to keep in your rollers, brushes, buckets and pans from drying out overnight. We've, we've left it this way covered up for days and come back and not had any issues with anything drying out and then we just go right back to work again. So that's how we go about covering our rollers and brushes very simply, easily, and cheap. I did have a product I, that was sent to me. I was making this video. I was getting ready to make this video and I had a product sent to me on covering brushes and rollers using a plastic bag method. So I want to show you this this product is very interesting. I've been testing it out here recently. I was shipped uh, three big old boxes of it right here and this roll. I'm not sure how many are on this roll. I would assume probably about a thousand or so is on this roll. And this sleeve is, let me pull it off. This, the product is called, this is, the box is unlabeled. It came to me from 
I believe Amazon is where you can purchase it, but let me show you right here. Here's one of these bags and it says PB and RP sleeve and it's got a brush and a roller. So I'm gonna show you this, you can see this, this is a bag right here and it's a bag that holds or you can wrap a roller or brush in it and show you real quick how this works. Very simple and easy to do. You just take your brush, roller, or map, and you can just wrap it up inside this thing to squeeze all the air out. You can just tie it up. Now I can just take, set this thing aside. It's covered, simple and easy to do, and it's not gonna dry out. If I wanna wrap some tape around it to secure it, I can wrap some tape around it to secure it. But it's gonna the same process with the brush. You can just take a brush, Stick it in this bag, and just wrap this thing up, get all the air out of it. You want to get all the air, wrap it up. Now my brush is in this bag, secured. It can sit for days. I've been using them, testing them out. I've put some brushes and rollers in here for over three days, come back, unwrap them, and they were still wet, not dry at all. A simple little bag, I got sent Got sent this box, I'll show you. Uh, I got sent a full box of them. This full box, once again, this, and it just unwinds just like this off out of here. Here's the box itself. This came in a brown box, had a shipping label on it, but I know you can purchase it from Amazon and you can purchase different quantities, I believe. I believe this is a box of a thousand, I'm not sure. But in this roller cover sleeve, they sent me a whole bunch of samples. I got maybe 20 to 30 samples of it too. Same thing, it says the PB and RP sleeve. I'm gonna be sending a whole bunch of these out. All you gotta do is leave a comment in the, in the comment section below that you'd like some of these samples. I'm gonna send them out so you can test them out and tell me what you think. They like say you got about 20 to 30 of them, so I'm gonna give them, be giving them away. I'm gonna give away a couple of these full boxes right here. I want a couple of people to test those out, so let me know if you wanna try them out. I've been testing them out. Um, and it is for rollers and paint brushes. The method I showed you for covering a bucket, this isn't to cover a bucket, it's to cover a roller and paint sleeve. One of the things that I would like to see, I don't think they have different sizes, but I'd like to see one that would probably be half that size right here for brushes and just uh, four inch rollers or four inch naps because this one here, that's a lot of plastic right here for just a four inch nap or brush, but it's still gonna accomplish the same thing, but I think we can cut back or they can cut back the cost on these things if they just cut it down in half. We use it for 18 inch rollers and it's plenty, plenty long for an 18 inch roller. It could probably be cut back you know, six inches for an 18 inch roller. But I don't know if anybody's, if anybody has tried these things or purchased this, let me know what you think of it in the comment section below. If you haven't and you got a comment about it, please leave it in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you have to say about this product. We've just been testing it out here recently, trying to determine whether it's something that we would keep in our vehicle or um, he'll make space for it in our, all of our painting vehicles. But interesting, once again, I get sent all kinds of products from all over the world. People want me to test stuff out and I just like to introduce some of these products to you to see whether you would like them or not and I like to give out some of these samples. I don't need all these samples myself so I'm definitely going to be sending all these things out to my viewers and subscribers. So once again leave a comment in the comment section below. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have please give me a thumbs up and a like. Don't forget to leave your comments. If you want more tips and tricks, you can find me on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and even Instagram. And once again, we'll see you on my next video. Out.